Ah, spring, when birds are on the wing, when flowers bloom. Spring, when a young man's fancy lightly turns to thought. What's the matter? Exam week getting you down? What you need is to put down that notebook and take in some of the beauties of nature. See what I mean? But wait a minute, young lady. How did you get into this picture? You see, we're trying to prove a point about nature and beauty, and you're not exactly helping, you know. In fact, you all know that a good appearance is a must, not only to your college life now, but to your business and professional lives in the future. But good appearance is more than dressing up like a fashion plate. Anyone will make a good appearance if he's neat, no matter what his style of clothing. Clothes are important. Besides fitting well and looking well, the clothes should be appropriate to the occasion. Wearing inappropriate clothes, like these shoes, is a sure way to make yourself uncomfortable and suspicious. But good grooming is more than clothes deep. Good grooming starts with personal care. This principally means the care of your hands, your hair, your teeth, and your skin. Let's begin with the skin. smooth objects. Almost all skin is richly provided with nerves, which give the skin an amazing sensitivity to outside stimuli. Hence, the skin acts as a sensory organ for the protection of the body as a whole. And skin serves to protect you still another way, by providing one of the first physical signs of illness or disease. Most skin also contains hair. The hair roots are located below the skin surface. Most commonly, hairs are found in association with the sebaceous or oil glands. These oil glands 
often empty directly into the hair follicle or opening, by means of which the oil reaches the skin surface. The purpose of this oil is to soften and lubricate the hair and skin. Another gland found in the skin is the sweat gland. Sweat glands open directly into the skin, and the charged sweat through individual openings or pores. Sweating is one of the chief functions of the skin. The main value of sweating is the control of body heat, brought about by the evaporation of sweat from the skin surface. Most everyone sweats under one circumstance or another. Protect your skin. Keep it looking clear and fresh. Keep it clean. The best way to clean your skin is still the old-fashioned use of soap, hot water, and plenty of elbow grease. And the result is well worth the effort. You don't need scientific proof of it. You can feel it. In addition to soap and water, there are other good aids for cleaning your skin. One of these is cleansing cream. Many girls find this helpful in removing cosmetics. However, nothing can take the place of your daily bath or shower. Some girls use a lubricating cream or lotion to prevent skin roughness or chapping. Expensive creams and powders, however, aren't necessary. A healthy skin can be kept attractive with only a few simple preparations. The removal of hairs is sometimes a problem. You can take care of single hairs with a pair of tweezers. But for leg and underarm hair, your best bet is a safety razor. Don't worry that shaving the hair will make it grow back either faster or denser. That isn't true. But it is true. The chemical hair removal has been found hard to skin in some cases. Nail polish is hot. But you should remove it for a short period in order to prevent cracking the fingernails.
spaces between your toes should be kept dry as a precaution against athlete's foot. Routine dusting with talcum powder will help keep them dry. If athlete's foot should develop, consult a physician. Don't let this disease get a toehold on you. As an added precaution against athlete's foot, try to avoid direct contact with damp bathroom floors. Wear slippers or clogs. Next to the skin, we probably spend most of our attention on our hair. This is especially true among women. But this kind of superficial attention doesn't count. After the final rinsing, you may be sure it's clean. Most girls follow hair washing by doing their hair up in pins or curling rods. This is a good time, since damp hair is more elastic than dry hair, and you'll find it easier to manage. Permanent waving, if skillfully done, will not damage your hair. However, the use of strong dyes or bleaches is very likely to make the hair brittle. Brittle hair, in turn, is liable to break off in larger quantities than you care to lose. For normal daily care, your hair should be methodically combed and brushed. But be careful.